there everyone, this is Picture Tales, and welcome back to Siphon Filter. So, uh, you saw before, you see I'm still missing two antigens. I'm not missing the scientist anymore. So you see the scientist, so you remember the balcony spot that I was at? Uh, I'll just show you on the way back. But I'll, I'll show you where each of the, where the scientist was. But as far as the antigen guys, they're all, they're right at the beginning. Like, From here, where I came in here, at the very beginning, and I got that box. Oh, right here. I turned up the brightness on the game also. I don't know if you could tell that, but I did. <clears throat> Alright. And I will see you guys when we get... I'll see you guys when we're back when we're uh, at the balcony shortly, and then when we get back to the elevator of the catacombs. Yeah, the scientist was right here, right in there. So I went right past him, and that would have been a checkpoint I could have gotten, but whatever. Here we go. Well, I could so I got some time to go, so I'll see you when we get back to the elevator. All right. Go to seven. Wow, so that's one plus four and a half. Five and a half minutes. <laughs> Shut up off my edit time. <clears throat> Alright, so I added five and a half minutes. Okay, let's do this. Into the catacombs. And it's another safe spot. Just goes to show you, look everywhere. Unless you want to be searching around for like half an hour. Not knowing what to do. No wonder those guys were, were behind me. Alright. Force, eliminate Falcon scientists, administer the antigen test subject, and find Fagan. Kazakhstan incident is blowing up at the State Department, and the UN Council is furious. The agency is shifting blame towards NATO command. NATO command, of course. You are now at the midpoint of Romer's stronghold. Interpol schematics suggest that the catacombs entrance is probably in the Rose Chapel. Find your way there. You use Hol use Horod in Ukraine, the stronghold lower level. So I'm halfway through this. All right, if you say so. Farcom and WHO shipping containers everywhere. Romer and Fagan must have been working on something big. Stay focused on the mission. Don't get distracted. All right. We both, we know he will, though. Okay. Or at least anybody who's a fan of this series knows it. Gabe doesn't know how to not be distracted. Bleh. Wait, do I have a reconnaissance? Do I have a reconnaissance? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nine more scientists. Okay. Four test subjects. Find the key cards and find the. But I was already. I'm in the catacombs. Oh, there's a guy in there. Right, but there's also guards. Oh, this is a big open space. Um, there's one guard already. Oh, he's up here. Sorry to do this to you, but... <sighs> it's just taking too long. Just die already! Shotgun headshot. Headshot gun. No. 
You're not getting me this time. You're not getting me. You're gonna die. Oh, is that another guy? No, it's just my footsteps. Anybody else? A lot of these missions have been running gun, but I do like I did like the last one where you where if you where it'll be a lot hell of a lot easier if you just sneak the fuck around. Like it's not Im like you don't immediately fail the la the previous mission. And you get caught. As you guys saw, you you can run and gun your way through it if you're skilled enough. The thing is, though, you need to be really skilled in order to be able to do that. Oh, I found a guy! I found a sick buddy. Great. Wait, G18? Oh, shit. You okay, bud? Okay. You! <laughs> Not today, dickhead. <sighs> See, I don't feel bad shooting that scientist because he shot at me. Uh oh. Oh. Is there a guy in there? What's this? I'll take him. Oh, yeah! Save I'll just. Me. Here you go. Be safe, buddy. Okay. Go up here. And go up here. Go up here. Huh, there's nobody in here at all. Ah! <laughs> oh wait. Okay, so no, that's this isn't the same place. I didn't go around in a big circle. Oh. Wait, is there a way up there? No. Fine then. Okay, so. Whoa! Whoa, fuck off! Oh. Oh, guys, just trying to run. Too bad. I can't let that happen. What are you nuts? You all have to die. Wait, I've been here before. Okay then. Let's keep moving then. Alrighty then. Let's keep moving then, then already, then, 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 Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Get him. <clears throat> okay. Whew. Oh boy, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You don't get to do that. You get to die now. Hello? You get to die now.
There you go. You're welcome. Welcome to die. There is no leaving die. Oh! God. I think I know how they've been moving the virus. They must be injecting new strains into the test subjects here and using Fagan's exposition center as a cover for transporting the bodies. Oh boy. They could be shipping these carrier bodies all over the world. Uh-oh. I already have a team searching for Fagan's warehouse and shipping center. ETA to Romer's holding cells? I'm working on it. Oh. Hey, fuck you! Okay. That's what you get for being a dick. Alright. Help me. I did! Ooh, I got him over the G18. That'll be very good. Alright. Uh, over here. Huh. Ooh, wait, I already had that. <laughs> Whatever. Let's keep moving. And we gotta find more armor. So that I don't die a horrible fate. I don't want to be touched by death's cold, icy hands. It makes me uncomfortable. Ah! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Hello? Where are you? Over there now? Okay, bye. But then I come back! And I kill you. That's what you get for shooting me. I shoot you. In the knee. But not really. Because that would be just to me. Oh, biscuits and gravy. If I don't get, if I don't stop saying things like that, I'm going to end up hungry. Oh, fuck. Really? The scientist man killed me. I'm finding Varkop check. Fuck. Oh. All right. Here we go. Oh boy. I'm at 1831 more. Oh boy. So. So I'm back here. You know, I think this is deep enough into this video where I can safely say I voted for Donald Trump. And I'm bringing this up because elections happened a couple days ago, a few days ago, and Twitter exploded, and I stand by my decision. So much so that no matter what the fuck happens to the United States, I am not going to move out for at least four years because I made the decision to vote Donald Trump in, and I'm sticking with it. Now, if you're one of those people that are moving to Canada, I hope you enjoy the freaking... Like, before I say this, I just want to say, one of my, like, grandparents once took a freaking trip to Canada to get health care, and the, the hospital is just fucking horrible. There, there was asbestos in the walls and shit, and it took so fucking long for them to get any kind of service at all. And I'm just over here sitting, I'm just sitting over here thinking, why the fuck do you want that kind of healthcare system? Fucking free healthcare. Yeah, but at the cost of every possible aspect, of every aspect of service that's provided. I 
I don't want free health care. I'd rather have I'd rather pay for health care that is I'd rather pay for service that is good rather than get free service that sucks ass and pretty much doesn't even doesn't even make consist of medical medical treatment. Great! Fucking brilliant. What? Ugh. Okay. That took a while, but let's hope I can fucking do this. Whoa, shit. No, fuck, fuck, no, fuck, no. Oh, the other guy. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna say this right now. I don't think Donald Trump is gonna do bad stuff as the president. I really don't. I mean... Hey, with Hillary? She had actions that... proved that she was a completely corrupt, corrupt warmonger. Warmongerer. She was actively trying to get a war going. Anything that happens to Donald Trump will be completely by, will, will not be intentional. Will not be his intent. For years we've been wanting to get rid of ISIS and he could just, and he could fucking do that. Work together with Russia to get rid of fucking ISIS, so that we don't, have, so that people that fear ISIS, or you know, uh, fear Muslims because of ISIS, won't anymore, because ISIS won't be a thing anymore. We, the two sides that were on, of the Cold War have banded together in order to fucking remove the freaking horrible... Okay, I, I've gone over, but... Yeah, they banded together to remove a horrible bane on the human race. On humans as a whole. Anyway, that'll be it for this episode. Maybe I'll talk more about this next episode, but until then, if you liked it, be sure to put a like on it. You got something to say? Leave a comment. Haven't already? Please subscribe. I've been Pedro Hotel. This has been Gabe Logan. This is the Titan Filter. We're in the chapel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye!